played, I played with trains when I was a kid. This 89-year-old has been obsessed with trains all his life. I had an electric train up in the attic of my house. So what's a train-loving retired engineer to do? Build a giant train set in his Mendocino, California vineyard. Of course. My name is Max Schlinger, and this is the Vector system. isn't just a big toy. It's a working concept that depends on magnets and is pulled along by pressure in a vacuum tube. Sound like Elon Musk's Hyperloop concept? Forget it. The inspiration for this model train is a modern spin on a very old railroad idea. Like Victorian England old. In the early days of the railroad, engineers like Isambard Kingdom Brunel thought they had a better idea than slapping a loud, heavy locomotive on every train. They called it the Atmospheric Railway, but it never really worked out as well as they hoped. The first idea was very, very similar to what they did in uh, the 1800s. Had they had the magnets that we have today, the high-strength magnets probably would have done the same thing we're doing now. Here's how it works. The two parts of the train are the interior part that inside the power tube, this would be the power tube, and exterior. We have a thrust carriage and we have a passenger car. The thrust carriage is coupled to the passenger car via some permanent magnets. The thrust carriage is inserted within the thrust tube. And so as the thrust carriage moves, so does the passenger carriage. It's possible to move the passenger carriage down the track simply by applying pressure behind or vacuum in front of the thrust carriage like this. Of course, it takes more than a huff and a puff to get a full-size version down the track. This one uses powerful vacuum pumps. They're electric, which means the train could be powered by renewable energy. Using vacuum power instead of an engine keeps the train light enough to tackle hills no normal train could ever ascend. Well, the advantage of a system like this is that we can not only cl climb uh, steep grades, uh, we, can, we could climb grades in excess of 10% 10, 10 grades, uh, but we can also go down those grades and we can use what we call uh, atmospheric braking. So a lot of times it's just as important that you can down the grade as up the grade in a safe mode. So if it's such a great idea, why aren't there vector systems whooshing all over the place? Well, I think everyone else is sort of tied into the standard gauge railroad trains that uh, we have today. Even our high speed trains of today are uh, standard. And I think that's sort of a stagnation point in the way people think. Spoken like a true disruptor. Schlinger is approaching his 10th decade, but has no intention of slowing down. I want to keep working till I can't anymore. I have my driver's license till I'm 93. Uh, I'd like to be around then and go for it the next time too. But bringing Vector to life will take a serious pile of cash and years of political wrangling, at a minimum. Schlinger knows this, but he sees the world through the eyes of an engineer and holds faith that the better solution will win out. Oh, I think we'll make it happen. Maybe, uh, maybe not in my lifetime, but we'll make it happen. <laughs>